I am back with the tiny horse. <laughs> Let's see if Dutch gives us any crap about disappearing like that. I don't need another. We gotta be out there making money speech. We were just out scoping a lead. He doesn't need to know it was a big furry <laughs> one. Well, thanks, Arthur. I probably you won. Worry about it. I need to head out to Emerald Ranch soon. Look into something. See you later. See you later, alligator. Hmm. I had hoped we would have a little mission over there, but apparently not. Uh, I guess we are going to have to. St oh God. Okay then. Uh, not in. Guess we're going to do this mission first before we get a real horse. Bleh. Taking too long. How? What time is it? Oh, seven. Fine. Ooh, we just got a little question mark over here. Let's go and just leave me be. Oh, city's sad. Why don't you sit, Arthur? Sure. You okay, Arthur? <laughs> I guess. You seem kind of worried. Of course I'm worried. What about? Our world's changing. Even I see that now. Our time is pretty much past. They don't want folk like us no more. <laughs> this very rules will be damned with you. No more outlaws. No more killers. Now it's us being hunted. Oh, they ain't stopping. We went and made our choices a long time ago, so I guess we gotta pay for our sin. Oh, Arthur, what a sad world we live in. Well, I ain't sad, Mary Beth. I'm just I'm realistic about what's coming. I keep thinking I should help folk, but ah. I don't know. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. You're the only one of these fools knows just how lost he is. Ain't that the truth? <sighs> Ain't that the truth? Hmm. Okay. So we got to talk. Aren't we done yet? I think we're done. Anyway, now oh, here is someone special. Mr. Lumbago himself. Hey! Oh. <sighs> Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy and killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Always remember to call on your horse, otherwise you will be stranded in Valentine.
back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Here's another shy horse for you people. This is a white shy. You can do it, Arthur. Easy, easy. Whoa. Watch he doesn't bolt. Take it easy then. This one is actually very pretty as well. Yeah, there you got it. Here we go. <laughs> Look at him. He's huge. Or her. I'm not sure. Horse. A gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the nah. woman. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Blizzards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you not hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did it. That uncle. <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people. Finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. See what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. Bears off on the right. Sure, you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stable. Damn problem. If that don't beat all. There we go. All right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. Imagine Paris and Valley. So that's how you see, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. 
Ringworm is my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. <coughs> Shut up. <laughs> this is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Full stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Coffee. Bye. We could buy more, but we need to save some money. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Okay. Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. <laughs> yes. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Mm. Usually work. Saying her sick or someplace. Train, rich tourists, and a nan, and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Yeah. Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Mm -hmm. oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get off of me. Get your hands off mm -hmm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of Get off her. <laughs> Or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. I love how men just go. Look after her. Uh, I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. I don't want to fight you. Bye. <laughs> Doctor had to take the whole arm. Huh. Well, can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Mm. No trouble now, please. Mm. That's up to him. No, you're not. Hey! How are you? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I pay. Uh, ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Exactly. Come now, here. sleep. Let's loot. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. No. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But... Stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? 
Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come on. Come on. Get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Now Be careful, Arthur. Just no, no, no. a word. Yeah. Let's go. Just on it. You stay away from me. No. Nope. Get back here right now. Whoop. Just go away. <laughs> I don't want no trouble. Well, that didn't go well. Please do something. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now, please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up, please. Fine. All right, come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. <laughs> I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Give me Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Hmm. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Mm-hmm. You too. Yeah. What was this? this study. I never. Oh, it is an American standard bread. So here's one of them that you can also find in the wild. Uh, at the same place that you can find the black one I showed you. Um, so here is actually yours to steal if you'd like. Um, but I figure we're not gonna keep this horse, so we're actually going to go and return it back to its owner. Yay! But it's a beautiful buckskin. Are up for it. And American standards are quite good. They're racy horses. They can go a lot faster than the horses did right now. Uh, especially if you bond it up. Uh, yeah, it's a good horse. Hey! My horse! <sighs> Am I glad to see you? Here's your horse back, friend. Yep. Oh, you really were just borrowing. Yes, I was just borrowing. So the others have gone back. Now we have another quest here, but welcome back. Now let's try and actually focus on uh, uh, trying to get that one horse that we want. And here, up here, is one way to do it, and that is to go and get this bounty. Uh, so horsey, you stay here. Hold here, boy. While I go in. That was a good way to get money. Well, look at here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. 
Well, I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Tracks delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, that's a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Get some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. Feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive. I got it. Let's go. Oh, this horse is really not fast. Come on. Chop, chop. There we go. A little faster, but it won't go for long as you can see the stamina is best. But we are going to leave our horse quite early to, to get to so that we can actually get that horse. I hope it works anyway, otherwise, we are in a bit of trouble. Here already. Uh, we're not gonna need any guns because we are gonna need to catch him alive. So if we leave our horse here, because down here this bounty actually has the horse we want. Uh, so I've seen in uh, at least another YouTuber's let's play that when she left her horse up uh, this sort of early. Um, because you're gonna understand that I otherwise it would have been the other horse would have despawned and we would have had our own horse to use. Uh, but now, hopefully, because if you look right up there, you see that horse in his butt. It's our horse, hopefully. Here we go. Uh, what we got here? There is our horse, hopefully. Are you Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard him. Her good things. I'll pay in gold I if you could help me find him. It's just my mother's real sick. Oh, well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know, a medical man, finest medicine in the state. <laughs> <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. Now the price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. Mm -hmm. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This, this is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Hold on. Yeah, <laughs> I'm slipping. Shit. Ah, uh, come on. No, 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 no. 
Ah, there we go. <laughs> oh, oh, you saved me! Now come on, buddy, let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, hey, you saved my life! Well, ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump! Oh, 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 what? You can't shoot me! Oh. Please. I'll take my chance. Come here! Uh, bye, friend! Oh, no. Really do not like you. Yes! Here we have a horse, people! Ah. And it's a her! Woohoo! Ah. Now, let's see now. Let's go, girl. Oh, no. Shit. I got a car! Oh, this mission took me forever before I understood how to do it. chocolate bar so here people we have our horse this is the Hungarian half bread you get this lovely white coat stand still come on now better up here okay girl yep so we're gonna take him in this little dude we have to be careful these are some slits here, so it's easy to run into people like people like right <laughs> here. This ain't my to have. No, I know. Uh, so you have to be focused, <laughs> otherwise you can run into people and then not so happy. Oh. Oh, uh, sir. I think I must be suffering from exposure. Hmm. So for a little long. Yeah. Seem to keep blacking out. Mm -hmm. Trust you got, folks. Get right up. Oh, slow. Don't, up. don't need to run into people. Oh. Sir, this isn't necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. Why, who made you judge? I'm only in it for the money. Oh, I don't feel well at all. You're a bully, sir. Mm. You don't understand me anymore, and that... Oh, my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was, uh... Was just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? I'm selling the back. Yeah. <laughs> Some terrible mistake. I never did it. Any of it. Uh. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. Mm -hmm. oh, but I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sir, um, how much was you offered? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Madam. Please, remember what I told you. <laughs> 
Thank you.